Right, golf mates, this is a very serious. Don't think you're laughing and joking when you've clicked on the video. I wear glasses, I play golf with glasses, and I've got astigmatism in my left eye, so it's, it's not great. But here's one for you. Do you need glasses? And is it cocking up your golf and, you know, hindering you? And we're going to find out why. I'm going to tell you why. So if I take... If your pan's round now, this green there, it's about 20 yards away. Now, are you ready for this? No, it's about 30 yards away. So imagine this. Putting, from me to you now, the camera is six foot. No, it's about eight foot. And it'll go longer. So, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to play four holes with no glasses. And straight away, you're a little bit blurred in there. I'm, my eyes are that bad, I'm not allowed to drag. We're getting bombed. He's done it again, we're getting bombed. Percy! What are you doing, Percy? I can see ya. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we're at Chalk Commander. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And you think, what is this bloke on about? Just curiosity. I'm going to play without glasses. They're off. Right, so we've got a 300 and odd... Hopefully don't... Hey, Joe, don't sit on them chops. And we'll... Uh, and my eyes focus. Well, there. Uh, right, driving iron. That's what I'd always hit here. So it's uh, 320 yards. God, and Benny, this should be fun. And... Uh, What's this ball? I'm going to try me Srixen. So there you go. This should be fun. Oh, and with this bright sun, got floaters in my eyes. If I can pull that swing off, though, it'll be a happy days. Right, now you think I'm joking, I'm serious, I'm aiming left of the sign down there, hopefully a nice straight one. Opposite what Elton John likes. Right. I've not a clue it's soon it's straight, but maybe fading right. I've, where is it, Joe? Is it okay? It's gone too long. I've had that trouble all my life. I mean, I'm not being funny. That is brilliant, but it's a bit fingered out, but the wind should get me. Right, I've got. Oh, what have I got? One, two, seven. Hmm, I'm going to get a little pitching wedge. The wind might take it a little bit. So I'm going to do a fader. Right. Tricks in one, two, seven. I fancy this. Doesn't look one, two, seven. It looks about 150, though. That's the only thing. Is it short? Can you not see it? Might be a tiny bit short. Okay, I think you're all right. So as the test is going, I don't know what to say. I can't see it. It's just a nice, easy swing, that. Right, so we're a bit little legs are short. So at the moment, our course is lift clean and place. It's covered in mud. So listen, I don't want to wipe it on a towel. I'm just going to put it there. Don't give me a load of nonsense. Right, uh, doesn't look too bad, this. I've got eight iron. Halfway and let it chip and run. I don't, my eyes are coming round now, but imagine if you do, you're a vein and you walk by glasses, golf could be easier. Go on, go on, go on. Nearly. It's good enough, but that's the old man pack, yeah. So the story is about glasses. I've got to take my time with this because Joe will go mad. Now, I won't lie to you, I think it's right to left and I've got my glasses on, this will look a lot closer. That's a left to right, that. Just. I think I uh, yanked it. Bogey with no glasses on. Oh, well, no one's died, it's a bogey. I believe my tee shot was a very good struck shot, Joe says. Second shot, I see bits of it, but it was just a bit short. Maybe could have given it the beans. But you don't want to always give it the beans, do you? Just in case the old follow through. White box was on today, so that's the last thing I need to go on with. You know what I mean, dads, don't you? Right, I've put my glasses back on for a minute just for a game of bearings. But honestly, how many play golf, right? And you need glasses and you're just vain. Do you know what I mean? I've got to take them off, on I? Sorry about that. I'll put them here. So, par five now. I'm just going to give you... A comparison before I break them glasses. 
before you think I'm losing my marbles. Big wide open fairway. Now it just looks like going down a flute, it really does. I'm going to put these here and I'll get them back in a minute. But, get it under, hover and give it a whack. Aim for the pond, I think. The wind's just going that way now, left to right. Oh, that's gone like a nine wood. Just going to drop short of the pond. I'll keep low, get my glasses. Yeah, you're probably asking yourself, this is a weird video, Liam. And, you know, I'm starting filming it now, and I'm thinking to myself, it is a bit of a weird one, Liam, because my glasses are on, off, on, off. Like a lift. Right, we're going to get a six iron. Like I said in this video, it's... I don't know about you, I'm slowly getting an headache, so I don't know if you wear glasses. And I know there's a player here who can't play with his glasses. Well, I'm opposite, I don't like playing with them out. Off. A shadow of a doubt. Right, give this a whack. A bit some nice shots today. I'll fix that in a minute. I've not a clue, it sounded great. Well, supposedly it's straight as a die, so uh well for once, and I mean for once that uh, sometimes I talk the truth, loads of data. This is gonna be a world's first thing, you might not believe it. Today I am talking utter garbage. If you wear glasses, take them off. Just take them off, it goes straight. Listen to Uncle Ian. Okay, golf mates, I'm gonna use this thing. Hill 16, par five, center 118 yards, front 108, back 128. 120 yards, but it's uphill. I've got picture wedge again. Now, George just told me that shot I hit there were beautiful. A stinger. Is it pitching wedge? It is downwind and it's uphill. I'm going to hit this anyway. Looks further than it is. Is that massive? So what I am doing, Joe thinks it's because it's no glasses. Uh, well, he could be right, honestly, because the fact of the matter is, I've not got my glasses on. I'm trying to keep my hands down and my takeaway, I'm trying to do with my shoulders so I don't mess around my hands. But, uh, I mean, let's just say how it is. The video has took another twist, unexpected. See, sometimes you've got to roll with it and the roll with it is we were thinking this video is a bit stupid then all of a sudden i'm just creaming it with no glasses on so if you're watching jed from nan who got me my glasses in lockdown uh, you don't give me bifocals by any chance have you <laughs> wow <laughs> who needs glasses eh who needs glasses well that was good I mean, I'm happy with that. I want to strike that way. Same again, though. If I had my glasses, this would be a shorter putt. Well, the runaway train, she goes down the hill and she puffs. She puffs. The runaway train, she goes down the hill and she puffs. She puffs. Uh, right, okay. Keep saying it, Joe does not like me free putting or concentrate, unconcentrating on these short ones. But I've got a seven footer here. Oh, I've had a rimmer. That's all we need. Bogey. Again. But to be honest, maybe, maybe. Let's put some science behind this. I get some facts. Proper data. That should do you there for the geeks. Maybe putting, you put your glasses on, because the old's bigger. It's like looking down at the old man, it's bigger with glasses on. So maybe the trick is putting, put your glasses on. Everything else, glasses off. Right, golf mates. Joe is telling me I've been having a little bit of a draw. <laughs> I said, don't be daft, Joe. 
I had some loft in my hand. Lack of talent. So we're on the 18th, I've got my driving iron, free my willy. I'm gonna try and hit at the bunker and let it just have that feather fade-ish thing. But I'm just gonna try some of I'm gonna try hovering my driving iron. So I've not tried it with my irons, doing well with my irons, but this is just got that little fade, so I'm gonna try and hover it. Not a clue what's gonna happen. It sounded great, but I'm struggling to see it land. No, I've not a clue. Has it gone chops? Perfect, to the right, right not middle on right. Perfect. Yeah. This is getting a very interesting, uh, what's the word? Interesting video. Make of it what you think. A couple of good swings, to be fair. Pity I didn't see them. Hi ho, hi ho, I'm off. To Shelton Village to get a salmon sandwich. Ugh. I mentioned that part. Joe said I'm playing better without my glasses. I thought going off the recent videos, I'm swinging well. I'm gonna go with this eight iron run. I mean, look at that divot in front of me. Someone's not put back. I'm gonna go with this eight iron only because. Load up. One minute. How far have we got? 64 yards. Chip and run. It's the future. Oh, that could be really good. I've seen that myself. I really did see that. Are you thinking, Joe, close or not? Or no cigar? It might be. Actually. It might well, be. It depends. Honestly, this eight iron, I know it's away from the video again and off topic, and the video as well. I don't know, let me get my old triple track putter and knock it in for a little birdie. Yeah. First time I've talked me eight iron from a distance like that, and I swear down, off topic, I know it is, I'm tempted to do it. Tastes from Baltic today. If you like these jumpers, golf mates, and you're still awake, and these beautiful t-shirts will make you look slim and handsome man. Any profits are getting a new mic system. Right, I've got this 12 footer for a birdie. And obviously this ain't my bloody putter, I've picked this up. Joe's laughing, it's not even got in yet. We line it up. David Plate, Luton, of Name Road. If you don't know who he is, Google him. Well, so on that note, what can we tell you? If you want to lower your handicap, take your glasses off. If you want to get a two putt, put your glasses on. If you're a birdie, use your driver. On that note, I've not a clue what you've witnessed today. I suppose the comments will let us know. Bye.